Welcome back. Using a cell phone, trying to eat a meal, even shaving or putting on makeup. These are just some of the things people are trying to do while they're behind the wheel. Investigative reporter Patrick Nelson joining us in studio with a unique look at distracted driving and how it is making our roads so dangerous. You know, we ran the story last night where we talked with those traffic crash investigators and they tell me distracted driving has become a public safety crisis on our roads. Driving like this it's not always illegal, but boy, it's dangerous. In this investigation, we learned distracted driving comes in many forms, and lawmakers are looking to change the rules. Pull the car over. Trooper Cutler with the State Patrol. What's going on today? Uh, nothing. What's going on? Okay, you're speeding down the road. For 14 years, Colorado State Patrol Trooper Gary Cutler has worked to keep our roads safe and educate drivers on their mistakes. When you made your turn onto the road here, you went straight over to the left. When you make a right turn, you're required to go to the right lane and I'm, vice versa there. I so. am so sorry. Now he's working with News 5 Investigates to help uncover some of the bad habits making our daily commute dangerous. And I've had many people be really rude to me on the road, so I try to just and I understand that. And just so you know, we do have a, I have a news crew uh, with me today here because we're actually, this is the reason we're stopping people today is uh, talking about road rage and distracted driving. Normally, Trooper Cutler identifies problems from his patrol car. Okay, well, that's an issue there, okay, because you're being very aggressive, all right? You're into the reckless driving, understand? But for this investigation, he's riding shotgun with us. I see a lot. I see so much more when I'm, I'm not actually having to focus on the driving. Immediately, we spotted people on their cell phones, changing speeds and making frequent lane changes. Even at a stoplight, the use of a cell phone bothers Trooper Cutler. Like right here, okay. she's on her phone sitting here, so she's not paying attention. She's not driving right now, but she's not focused on anything else. So if the traffic goes, then she's not going to be looking at that. And she's going to be wondering whatever it is she's doing. So whether it's she's waiting for somebody to respond to her or, you know, she's trying to find something, she wants to look at it. So those are the kind of things that concern us when we see them on the road. The bad habits didn't end there. This SUV just behind this car to our right, the woman's putting on her makeup. Mm -hmm. Yep, and see, she hasn't stopped doing it while she's driving there either. So she's got the visor down. Even if she hits a, a fender bender at some point like that, if she's got that eyeliner up there, she could jab that in her eye. I mean, it's just not worth it, you know? We saw people with dogs on their lap, you know, kissing them in the face as they're driving. Yeah, a lot of people don't think that that's illegal, you know? And there's not a law that says I can't have my dog in front uh, with me. But what it is, is when they start affecting your driving, it's like just having a person on your lap, you know? You can't have that. And that's going to affect your ability to stop, turn, look, you know, do all those kind of things. So, yeah. I, I know we love our dogs, but you've got to make sure that they're somewhere that they're not going to affect your driving when you're going down the road. During our one hour ride with Trooper Cutler, we noticed distracted driving comes in many forms. And in some cases, these decisions end in tragedy. Here at the state capitol, in response to the deadly year on Colorado roads, the rules of the road could soon be changing. If you are holding your phone and holding your phone and trying to drive at the same time, they can say, whoa, 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 whoa. That's just, you can't do that anymore. That's not the way we're going to behave here in Colorado. This is the vision of State Senator Lois Court, who is sponsoring a bill that would make it illegal to hold a cell phone while driving. As more drivers from all over the country move to Colorado, Senator Court says this is an area lawmakers must set a standard. We shouldn't simply accept that because we have more people on the roads, it's okay that there's more danger on our roads. That is not okay. The use of a cell phone while driving bill will go before the Senate Transportation and Energy Committee this Thursday. If it were to become law this summer, the bill calls for a $300 fine and four points on your driving record if you are holding your phone in driving. Using a hands-free device and talking on the phone while driving would still be legal. Always watching out for you, Patrick Nelson, News 5 Investigates. Patrick.